Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Just want to show you the beginnings of a little servo controller board that I'm uh, playing with. And uh, <clears throat> it's right now all it does is it uh, rotates the servo to 90 degrees and back whenever you uh, whenever you connect 5 volts to the signal line right here. Uh, right now, for instance, if I connect that to the 5 volt line, it goes 90 degrees. And now again back because I touched it again. If I hold it down to 5 volts, it toggles back and forth. So if I disconnect power, power it in, uh, initially there will be a little glitch on the servo because that's just the way the servo is designed and software corrects it. So let me plug it in. And right now it is set to go to the low, <coughs> to the, the zero degree mark. So it's on the low setting on the board. If I take the jumper off and I connect it to the high, pins and I disconnect power, power it up again, it starts at the uh, 90 degree mark. Now you can take these off and put on, uh, there are actually a few different connectors that you can put a place on it to connect to whatever else you're playing with. And I will have a secondary program that will be chosen by the program jumper. On the, this jumper there's two options, P1 and P2. Uh, it's actually not implemented into software yet. I have to think about how I want to uh, integrate a secondary program. Now these servo motors, uh, the data sheet suggests that they can move properly between 0 and 180 degrees, but I find that I actually can get uh, properly 160 degrees out of it, so I might just stick to the 90 degree mark, but really kind of customized programming. But I just programmed it with the basic software and uh, I'm going to spend the next few days on and off tinkering with the idea of a second program. But I just wanted to, sh I just wanted to show it off and uh, maybe see what you guys had to say about it. Uh, very easy to use, requires a regulated 5 volt supply to the VCC pin, power supply ground, uh, supply in, uh, uh, sorry, signal line, input signal line, active high, and then these three pins connect to your servo motor. There's a five regulated, there's a five volt line, VCC, ground, and, uh, and signal. So that is fed into the servo motor. And at zero degrees, it feeds a uh, one millisecond high signal and then 20 millisecond low signal over and over and over again until it reaches its destination. In the 90 degree spot, it feeds uh, roughly, uh, off the top of my head, I forget exactly what it is, it's close to 2 milliseconds high, uh, 20 milliseconds low. I have to double check that, but when I uh, release this, I'll have all of the relative information just to show you how, it, you know, to talk about how it works. In any case, thanks for watching, I hope you have a great day. Um, check us out at engineeringshock.com. Take care, guys.